Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number four from the February, March 2020 uh, Pure Mathematics P1 International A Level. Um, this is a Cambridge 9709 paper. And this question here is about this curve, which has equation y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. It says a point is moving along the curve in such a way that at P, the Y coordinate is increasing at 4 units per second and the X coordinate is increasing at 6 units per second. Find the X coordinate of P. So basically what they're telling us, if the, if the Y coordinate is increasing at 4 units per second, it means the rate of change of the Y coordinate with respect to time is equal to positive 4. <clears throat> so we can say that this statement here about the Y coordinate, okay, will basically translate as a mathematical statement dy dt the rate of change of y with respect to time is equal to positive four units per second okay and this statement here um the x coordinate is increasing at six units per second will similarly will translate to dx dt the rate of change of x with respect to time is equal to positive six Okay, if it said decreasing, you'd put negative 6. That's something that we want. Both of them are increasing, so they're both positive. Right? If one of them said decreasing, we'd put negative in that. In that you know, it would be a negative value. Okay, it said decreasing at 4 units per second, minus 4. Anyway, just a side point there. Now, how can I relate this to find the x coordinate at p? We know that this is true at the point p. All right? Now, what we can do is we can use the chain rule. We can find an expression for dy dx. Okay, in terms of uh, these values, we can actually find a value for dy dx. We know dy dt, we know dx dt, and that will help us to find what um, the x coordinate of p is. Okay, so what I can do here is I can say that, and in fact, they give you this in the formula book. If you, if you notice, the formula book has this little statement in it, okay, which is going to help us. It says if x is some function of time, and if y is also some function of time, right then dy dx is equal to dy dt divided by dx dt okay so we can say dy dx now the way i like to actually think of it is equal to dy dt times dt dx it's the same thing when you when you divide by a fraction you change it to multiplication and you flip the fraction right so this what you can think of it like this that dy dt times dt dx the dt's cancel leaving you with dy dx so we know what dy dt is dy dt is four and we know what dx dt is, dx dt is 6, so it's going to be times, not 6, but 1 over 6, because the reciprocal of this, dt dx, is going to be 1 over 6. Okay, so it's times 1 over 6. That gives you 4 times 1 over 6, which is 2 thirds. Right, so I know that dy dx is equal to 2 thirds. And because I know what y is, I can find what dy dx is in terms of x as well. So I also know that dy dx is equal to 2x minus 2. If you differentiate this, dy dx is the differential of this. So I know dy dx equals 2x minus 2, and dy dx is equal to 2 thirds. Therefore, we can say 2x minus 2 is equal to 2 thirds, and that will give me the x value at which, because we can say at p, we know dy dx is 2 thirds, and the general gradient for this curve is 2, two the, the general value for dy dx of this curve is 2x minus 2. Therefore, at p, at p, 2x minus 2 is equal to 2 thirds. And we can solve this equation. Um, I can multiply by 3. That gives me 6x minus 6 equals 2. So 6x equals 2 plus 6, which is 8. So x equals 4 over 3. So that's the value of x. And that's the answer to this question. Very straightforward. And as I said, this is given to you in the formula book, this part here. Even if you didn't know how to, you didn't know that, you should understand this anyway. So they've given us a way to write down dy dt as a value and dx dt as a value. And we can use those to find dy dx as a value at the point p. And we know that dy dx can be found by differentiating the original equation. So at p, we know dy dx is equal to 2 thirds. So 2x minus 2, which is a dy dx, is equal to 2 thirds. And that helps us to find the x value. They didn't ask us to find the y value, 
just the x value. If they did tell us to find the y value, we'd just simply replace x as 4 thirds into there. If they say find the coordinates of p, we would then find what the y coordinate of p was by substituting into this equation. But here it's only asking for the x coordinate, so there's no need to do the extra work and lose time in the exam. Okay, so there's the answer to question number four. Um, I hope that was um, straightforward. Thank you for watching. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this section over here. Um, other questions from this topic, which is from P1 in differentiation of uh, Cambridge, can be found in the playlist that will appear in this section. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link, and you can watch the video that will appear in this region here, which will help you to find or navigate through my channel efficiently. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.